but it can be it can be life changing and it can be debilitating and it could kill you. It can kill you. Well, you probably heard of Lyme disease, but have you ever heard of neurological Lyme disease? Both are transmitted through ticks, but it's the difference in symptoms that sets them apart. For one man from East Liverpool, it was a tick bite he never even noticed that left him unable to walk and paralyzed on part of his face. But that didn't stop him from getting his diploma or keeping determination in his blood. It started with headaches, then came numbness and tingling all over his body. It's probably the scariest thing I've ever gone through. In mid-May, 27-year-old Nathan Barrett's life changed forever. I woke up and I'd lost my mobility altogether. We had to physically carry him out and he was just limp, like he had no strength to do anything. Doctors were treating Nathan for Lyme disease, but nothing was working. His strength weakened and he was diagnosed with Bell's palsy, causing temporary paralysis to the left side of his face. Literally, I was like learning how to live and care for myself and dress myself all over again. It was like I just started over, but like with the mindset of a 27-year-old man. Nathan was diagnosed with neurological Lyme disease in mid-June, which presents itself differently by attacking the nerves. Doctors told him he may never be able to walk again. That was probably the hardest day for me and equally the best day for me. It motivated him to prove them wrong. At that point, I kind of just quit feeling bad for myself and really got determined. And he did. Now in his sixth week in the hospital, Nathan is walking with a stick cane and improving every day. His determination didn't stop there. In the middle of his treatment in June, with the help of his nurse, Nathan graduated from the John D. Rockefeller Five Career Center as a licensed practical nurse. I felt like, you know, I had a whole new sense of pride. Rolling out there in my little wheelchair, <laughs> getting my diploma, you know? It's not easy. It's hard work, you know, and for him to try to, to accomplish that, even with all the symptoms that he was having with his Lyme's disease, give you kudos, buddy. <laughs> now he's on the road to recovery and a new career. Nathan's nurse tells me he could make a full recovery, but it is unclear how long that would take. But he is expected to be discharged on Friday to finish that recovery at home.